Failure is not an option. If we get him out, we save millions of lives. Requesting hand of God. Coming down. So, is Mark Wahlberg about to get into the martial arts game? Well, let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Mile 22. I really do appreciate it. Now, when I first saw the trailers for this film, I mean, it looks somewhat interesting to me, uh, but nothing that just really got me excited, you know, but I am a fan of Mark Wahlberg. Um, this is also being directed by Peter Berg, and I am a fan of him. Uh, I've pretty much liked all of his films. He did The Rundown, Friday Night Lights, uh, Hancock, which came out in 2008 with Will Smith. A lot of people just kind of crap on that film or like the ending of it you know i don't necessarily agree i, I thoroughly enjoy that film uh he also did battleship something that i am a fan of too some of the acting was pretty bad in that movie from rihanna and another character um i think he was like hawaiian uh he was like a paraplegic or didn't have his legs or something like that and a bad acting but i really did enjoy battleships i don't even have on that movie but now that i think about it i kind of want to buy it for like all the effects and action and things like that um he also did Lone Survivor, which I'm a fan of, and also Deepwater Horizon, Patriots Day. You know, so he has a very nice filmography. You know, so when I knew Peter Berg directed this, I was like, you know, it doesn't seem that interest it doesn't seem that interesting to me um initially, but you know, he has a great track record, so I'm on board. But what what really got me excited about this is when I saw when I found out that Iko Waste was in this film. Uh he's a, a, a Indonesian uh, brother, um, uh, you know, martial artist. They do a martial arts by the name of Salat. I found out about him. I want to say he popped on the scene for me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to guess. What was it 2000? Either 2012 or 2013 uh, with The Raid right here. Uh, one of the best martial arts films that I've ever seen. I have The Raid right there. Uh, I also have The uh, the Raid Redemption. And there's just a whole bunch of ton of beat ass in that movie. So I'm like, okay, you got Peter Berg, you got Mark Wahlberg, and you got this dude over here or whatever. Okay, this movie going to be off the chain or whatever. And was it? You know, uh, not so much. Now, while I did enjoy the action in this film, especially by Echo Waste and things like that, I mean, you got three uh, action uh, scenes. There's more than one action scene uh, in this movie, or more than three, but you got three to where you actually have the hand to hand action uh, that I really like. I love martial arts and all that good stuff. Uh, I like hand to hand. I like weapons, but me personally, I like the uh, hand to hand more than anything, especially if you have to use um, your, everything in your surroundings, like a ninja or something like that uh two of those hand-to-hand -hand action scenes was great uh one of my graphs about this film is one of them you could not see what was going on at all i mean the camera was all over the place chopping back and forth i mean it is chop city the idea is chopped not slopped and it was sloppy uh one in one of the hand-to-hand -hand middle scenes in the movie so that was actually very frustrating um, as far as Equal Oasis character himself, he finally learned English because I don't think that he knew English back in the day, but you know, he does have a few, uh, some English dialogue in this movie. But, uh, Mark Wahlberg's character in this film was extremely annoying to me and I don't like what they did to it. I mean, I, I just wanted to jump into the screen and be like, dude, will you please shut the hell up? You are getting on my damn nerve. Now they tried to excuse it, uh, by, you know, giving you some backstory in the opening credits. Um, you know, because what, what this film is about is, uh, Mark Wahlberg is a part of an underground organization that are like ghosts, like ninja technical ghosts, and they go around supposedly saving the day, and, you know, and don't get any credit. This, this is like this rogue underground group called Overwatch. And, you know, just nobody hears about them. And they all, it's kind of just like, you know, their version of, uh, Mission Impossible. And of course, you have to be, you know, very skillful in the mind and physically to be a part of some type of organization. And they just tried to write Mark Wahlberg's character as just some type of narcissistic, bipolar, uh, psychotic, you know, just random guy that has all these problems and his mind goes a thousand miles a minute and he has to wear a rubber band around his, his wrist to where if he's going out of control, he has to keep snapping and things like that. It did absolutely nothing for the story for me. I mean, it, it was just stupid. It was just a poor excuse to give a character bad writing. And this is the first time in a long time to where Mark Wahlberg was in the film and I just did not enjoy him. Man, he's like just griping at everybody just 
like, we have to get the job done. And if we don't get it done, then we're all going to die. And you don't want everybody to die because if everyone dies, nobody's going to be left. And if nobody's going to be left, you're not going to have anyone to play with. And if you don't have anyone to play with, you're going to get bored. And if you get bored, you're going to get bored out of your mind. And if you lose your mind, your mind is going to jump out your brain and then your heart's going to jump out your chest and that's going to be real painful. And do you think that's going to happen? No. If you don't want that to happen, then no. He did that in like the entire movie. And I'm just like, bruh, like stop it for real. You know, and like I, I, the action in this film, other than that one part to where, you know, it's chop city and you can't understand what's going on. It was very enjoyable. It was very brutal. Um, it was very intense. And I was on and on and going back and forth. And I see like, OK, man, damn. But a little bit was over the top of me. I don't know how many times you can break somebody's leg and arm in a fight and they still come back. I mean, even if they have, you know, their adrenaline is cranked up to 11, you know, they're going to be disabled, you know, and like, I'm like, dude, how are you going to, this dude's leg was broken, but then he was just still, he just acted like he didn't happen, which still comes to it, ah, 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 fighting and swinging and stuff, and like, while it was enjoyable, but I was at the same time like, okay, you know, where is the realism in this, you know, and, um, you know, you also have a pretty good cast in this movie, of course, I, I mentioned uh, Ecoy Waste. Uh, you also have uh, John Malkovich in this movie. Um, you also have that girl Juno. Not her, she, uh, what, what is her name? Um, yeah, Ronda Rousey is in this. I almost forgot about her. Um, I wanna. The, it's this young uh, girl who was in this film called Juno that came out in 2006, and I, I like her as an actress. And I'm um, forgetting her name. Peter Berg is in this movie as well. You know, he always uh, kind of pops up in this movie because he's an actor too okay i can't find the girl's name or whatever but you know oh well but you know i liked her or whatever if you know that movie juno that i'm talking about that came out in 2006 then um you know you know who i'm talking about but um something that i also did find uh it was not interesting is i did not care about the characters at all for the most part like you know they they're dying in this movie kind of dropping like flies and when they died i'm i wasn't just like oh man damn i'm just like or they're dead and the people in the film didn't care so you know how can i care too so i just think that was a bad job and just to be honest with you uh you know i'm i well, i don't want to spoil it for you but uh something happened towards the end and i was like okay huh that's different i didn't see that coming but when i was driving home i was thinking to myself wait a minute i wish they would have left that part out because now the entire movie just makes no damn sense at all like i'm, I'm just kind of frustrated you know as i was driving home and excuse me i'm just a little frustrated now as i'm thinking about it but this is a disappointing movie for me uh by uh, uh mark Wahlberg and peter berg and uh you know it had great action and it was just over complicated i mean this film was trying a little bit too hard to seem edgy and gr like you know like ooh, that's this this new spy movie with assassins and things like that you know, it just calmed down it was just so much dialogue and people upset just trying to you know intensify the moments where it, it just wasn't believable you know in my opinion if I had to rate Mile 22 out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 5 out of 10. Yes, a 5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Mile 22 or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all the good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of mile 22 star mark Wahlberg. and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace